On the 28th day of Lagma Kwanzaa, my true love gave to me a Christmas gift haul for you. So let's get cracking! Hello all my explorers and welcome back to Lauren's Adventures Out There. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My name is Lauren and I'm with Castles, Capes, and Clones where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. We talk Disney, Pixar, Marvel, the Star Wars, uh, the Muppets, 20th Century, Hulu, Disney Plus. If it's Disney, we're talking about it. So if you, that sounds fun to you, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post, as it really does help us out. All right, well, uh, I hope everybody had a good Christmas, or Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. Uh, I know that we did. We broke out the karaoke machine, and that's always a fun time. Although it ended up with me and my sister just singing the entire night long. <laughs> so it was fun. But anyway, leave me in the comments below what you did uh, for Christmas. And uh, I'm just going to show you some gifts that I got from my family. So I'm going to start small and I'll start off with the cards that I got. Um, my family is not a big card um, family, so uh, this was very sweet. I got this from my nephew Anthony, he's my oldest nephew. And it says, Merry Christmas, Uncle. I love you so much. Thank you for making me laugh so much. Uh, you have helped me get through this year. Love, Anthony. And Anthony goes to school at Full Sail uh, University in Florida. And so we very much miss him uh, during the year. And we're, we're so happy to have him back uh, for Christmas. Okay, the other card I got over here was for my mom and her um, husband, my stepfather, Tony. Um, and it says, for a little extra Mary, and it says, Merry Christmas uh, to our most loving and caring son in the whole world, wide world. We love you very much, Mom and Tony. And um, part of their gift was this $100 gift card, Disney gift card. Woo! So I'm going to be using that somewhere. I'm going to try and save it for when I go to the parks because I think that that would be a good thing. Although I'm dying to just get on Shop Disney right now and spend the whole thing. So anyway. All right. From my sister, I got this it's so cool i saw it at disneyland but i didn't get it and i'm so glad that i didn't but because she got me this artist series um black panther and we'll see if you can see a little bit i'm not going to take this out of the box because it just looks so beautiful as is but i hope you can see it let's try and get a little bit closer but it's just gorgeous and it, um, the artist is Natasha Bustos. Natasha Bustos. Natasha's love for comics grew with the comics of Turma de Monica that she knew from her trips to Brazil to see her maternal family. It was her uh, father, who was an amateur painter, that inspired her to draw her first comics. She studied fine arts. And there she met other artists who, like her, wanted to dedicate themselves to making comics. In 2011, she began to dedicate professionally to it, publishing her first graphic novel in Spain, and then jumping to the American market, debuting with a short story. She then began working for, with Marvel, with um, acclaimed titles such as Moon Girl and uh, Devil Dinosaur, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Runaways, and Shuri and T'Challa. 
into the heartlands. Since uh, 2020, she has been a part of the Storm Break Breakers um, Young Artist Program, where she has drawn several covers. Again, just gorgeous. I love this. Thank you, Olivia. Uh, along with that, she gave me this Wakanda Forever book. And we were um, at Downtown Disney, and they had the artist did a little uh, um, drawing. I'll put, uh, put that up here, or I'll, I'll show it somewhere. This is a beautiful mural that they put up at Downtown Disney to celebrate Wakanda forever. There's a little sign over there. And then on the other side, they have a sign telling you about the book that they wrote that I'm eventually going to get. And that's it. And anyway, it's a beautiful uh, book. Uh, this is called Wakanda Forever, The Courage to Dream. Um, and it's illustrated by Nicholas Smith. And I'm just going to show you, like, I'm just going to show you this thing. Look at, look at this. Just gorgeous. Um, this is why I love children's books. Because really, you know, yes, there's not a lot of words, but the artistry is just phenomenal in some of these books. And I really encourage people to go to the bookstore and look at um, look at the children's books. Okay, next we have uh, from my sister as well. Okay, so there's a story behind this. Um, we were at a Target in Santa Maria, and uh, oh, it's so much better than our Target here. And I just went crazy shopping, but one of the things that I wanted to do was get a gift for my goddaughter, Cassiana. And um, anyway, I saw this Squishmallow. Yes, Tammy, a Squishmallow. And, uh, uh, it was a reversible Squishmallow, but I thought it was so cute because I love Triceratops. Anyway, we I bought it for her, and then um, I was like, ah, I should have gotten one for myself. Uh, and I was like so sad, and I, I didn't see it again because we don't often go to that, that Target because it's like about an hour away. So anyway, uh, I uh, my sister got me the Squishmallow. <laughs> He's so cute! Oh my goodness! He's squishy! And look at this. Not only is he squishy, but you reverse him. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom! Hold on. It takes me a moment. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom! Come on! Stuff! Stuff in there! The Triceratops doesn't want to, um, you know, be stuffed into this body because he said he gets so sad because he wants to be the, the dominant Swiss metal. And you are, don't worry, Triceratops. I have to name him. Anyway, look at this. Then he becomes a little sharky or fish of some sort. Okay, now. The next gift I got was from my co cousin Rich. Cousin Rich gave me this. Look at this. I didn't even know this existed. <gasps> oh, Stan Lee. It's a Stan Lee action figure. And look at this. He's got a Captain America shield sign. And he's like, look at this action figure and the, that uh, signature there. I'm sure that's not his actual signature, but you know, it still looks cool. That's what he looks like. My sister thought he was shirtless, but <laughs> he's not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Cousin Rich, for that. I love it. 
Okay, now on to more gifts from uh, Bob and Tony. So, uh, the first one was this Life magazine, and it's about Walt Disney, and I almost bought this the other day, so I was so glad that I didn't, um, but it's very cool, and they've got, like, all of these things in here. Look at this. This is really cool. That's not from the, um, that's not from the, uh, um, uh, Angelina Jolie version, um, but then there's this as well, and it just looks so cool. Look at this. So that's very cool. Okay. All right. Next, we have a couple of items of clothing. Let me just get them out of here. Okay. So the first one, okay, funny story. I actually hated getting clothing for Christmas. Like I would make a big to do. My mom always liked to get me clothing. So I just kind of like come on hot, even into my forties. So anyway, she was quite surprised when I had a couple of pieces of clothing on my wish list. And so of course, she had to jump at the opportunity to get me them. So the first one is this awesome jacket that is Marvel. And I think I'm holding this wrong. Yeah, I am. Because it goes downward. So anyway, it looks like this and it's so cool. Uh, and it's actually perfect for today because it's raining outside, so I might wear this uh, because it's nice and, like, it's not clothy, it's uh, more jackety. And then, the other piece of clothing that they got me was this one, and it is of a Scarlet Witch hoodie, and you know I love my Scarlet Witch. It is. Isn't that awesome? So good. Oh my gosh, I love Scarlet Witch. And then the final thing that they got me. Oh god! Okay. The final thing they got me. And I haven't even taken it out of the closet. So maybe that one now. So we can all look at it together up close. ASMR for you. Okay. It is this pin folio. Look at this. This is very cool. And let's unzip this. Where is it? Okay, here. I like uh, the fact that this actually uh, has two zippers that come around. So, um, you can just put it in there. On. Okay, so then they've got their pages in here. Um, and there are five. One, two, two pages in there. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to put some pins in here. I don't know what I'm gonna put. Uh, I like Kraken Trades um, pin folios or whatever you call them. I have one of their mega megs, but the problem is, is that they're, I don't like their customer service because it took me six months to get a that meg that I got that was you know supposed to be in stock. And I kept asking and asking, and I never got any response back. So I'm not a big fan of the company, although I am a fan of their product. So if I saw it in a store, I'd probably buy um, Kraken, but not, I, I'll never order from them again. Um, all right. Well, that was my haul for Christmas. Uh, was there any particular item that you enjoyed? Uh, I just, I love it all. I don't even, I couldn't even pick a favorite. Um, 
but um, yeah, if you had a good time today, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post as it really does help us out. Visit us on all of our socials down below. Visit our website at www.castlescapesandblues.com. Thank you so much, guys, and we will see you later. Bye.